No matter the sport, game days can be very special. And for a group of Geneseo Maple Leafs, it's enhanced even more early in the morning when they meet in a Fellowship of Christian Athletes huddle. And certainly it helps them focus on bigger things than the game itself. My hopes for this team and for FCA on game day is just to really be focused on glorifying God and everything we do because it's so easy to get caught up in winning and to get caught up in statistics and what are people saying about me. So my hope for, for these guys is that by having it on the morning of game day and for all these kids, is we go out there and we have one focus and that's glorifying God. Uh, I think FCA is really good on game day because I think it just gives everyone kind of an opportunity to just relax. You know, there could be a lot of nerves flying around on game day. Uh, you never know, people handle things differently. But I think it's just that hour before school to just kind of relax and talk about God with uh, with your peers is just a good opportunity. How great is it too, there's great sincerity in this room too, that uh, you can trust guys, you know, that you're praying with. Yeah. Hey, you know, everyone's here for the same purpose, you know, we all want to go in our Faith, so you know there's uh, there's just all kinds of trust in between everyone. We all we all care about each other so much. You got to remember that uh, there's highs and lows, but you got to say even keel, and that's what Christ would want. He would want you to forget the bad plays and forget the good plays, and just uh, really focus on glorifying Him regardless of what you do. So this game night turns into a Maple Leaf winner as they complete a 9-0 regular season. But for so many guys in FCA, they're glad it all started with game day before school even began. It's a great day. Uh, you know, got to do a lot of things that I love today. I got to lead in FCA, I got to teach students, and I got to coach football. And it's a very fulfilling day for me. Talk about too, you know, as games go on like that too, and what do you what do you see when you look into the eyes of these guys, you know, when they're they're getting pushed, they're making stops inside the five, those kind of things too. It's a fun sport. It's a fun game. A lot of guys are really excited. A lot of emotions run high, and uh, I think we did a good job of honoring God tonight and and keeping those emotions in check when we needed to. You know, as that's going on, as a coach, tell me what it's like. You know, your adrenaline's pumping right now because you're uh, looking back at a nine and zero season. I'm excited. I I can't. It's hard to put it to words uh, what you feel when you have success like this in sports. Uh, we just hope that we can continue to take it one game at a time now and into the playoffs. You no, know, I think one thing really special about this team is we all just play for each other and play for God. You know, the glory always, always goes to God, and that's something that I think we're able to keep in our heads on the field when we're playing the game. Can that be a momentum thing as you go into the postseason, too? I think definitely. I think uh, having good team chemistry is just a huge part of a good team. Sometimes you have good athletes, but you can't really be a great team without good team chemistry. Well, I mean, usually I put a reset button on my arm, and I always think, uh, Chris will put me even keel, and he doesn't want me too high, he doesn't want me too low. He wants you right in the right place with the perfect balance. Mm -hmm. Are you finding yourself being aware of uh, you know, how blessed you are to, to, to be a, a high school athlete and playing for, for a great team? And there's no promises, you know. I mean, is that something that's, uh, you know, that you really uh, raise your hands up to God and say, man, thanks a lot? I definitely feel blessed. I mean, being in this community, it's like no other, and I could have uh, moved a lot of places when I moved here. And I'm really glad that we moved here, and I believe that God put me here for a reason. Are you going to be the one who starts Fellowship of Christian Athletes at your college, high school, or middle school? To find out how, you can contact me or check out our website at illawafca.org. With the FCA Story of the Week, I'm Dan Pearson.